I believe Trump will deceive everyone. You see, I don't look at things from the perspective of who's in office at the moment. And I choose not to look at life in that manner because I understand that it doesn't matter who's in office, they all play the same sides. And I don't care if the Dem Democrat, Democrat, <laughs> Democrat, or Republican, I gotta come with some, some for that, uh, Republicans, but it doesn't matter which side, it doesn't matter which candidate, it doesn't matter if it's black or white, each and every one of these individuals, especially at these high levels, they represent the corporations. The corporations own America. The Chinese own America. Everybody but Americans own America. And on top of that, if we want representation as a nation of people, we actually have to uh, 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 have people in our corner that we put there. Meaning, candidates that we've groomed from younger years and we've funded them through school, uh, their political contributions and political campaigns to bring them to that position of power to represent us. We don't do that. The rich do that. The wealthy do that. We don't do that. So automatically, I bring that up because automatically we're looking at how to navigate or, or, or we're looking at the whole political game from a low level thinking uh, position as it stands in my opinion. Because again, to really get representation for what you want, it takes a lot of money, it takes a lot of grooming, it takes a lot of getting the right people in there. How we do it is mainly whoever gives us the best personality gets, a, gets our vote. They still need funding. The average man is not, average man and woman or average family is not uh, funding these candidates. They're being funded by the corporations. We know that it takes millions of dollars to fund a political campaign, especially a presidency. Okay, so who's funding these people if they don't have the money? Corporations. So automatically, we have to understand that we've been and we're going into the political game on, a, on the wrong foot, on a bad start right on top of that we've had four bad years of i mean four sh crazy years of biden and even the democrats are like yo give us somebody new S somebody different we actually want people want trump back you know and again i believe this is all political game because we are going into the fourth industrial revolution we are in the midst of the great reset and if you don't know what that is, you should definitely go check it out and get as much information as you can about it. But we are in the midst of the Great Reset. We are in the midst of the Fourth Industrial Revolution, the fourth turning. And all that means is that we are going to see a huge shift. In, we are already seeing a huge shift in society and how things turn out, how people roll, how, how things just go. And if we're not, most people are not conscious or aware of it at all, right? At all. But for me... I say Trump is gonna be a big deceiver because people are gonna expect this, that, and the third. And I do believe that maybe he'll prop up the economy for four more years, four more years. And then I definitely believe after that, we're gonna see huge changes, 2029, 2030. I mean, they already stated that 2030 is their timeline year of, of when they want things, certain things in place. So I believe Trump will lead us into that. I believe we will, we, will, we will beg for it because of what we've experienced over the last four years. Now again, I know some people are gonna comment, oh, well, Trump, is, he, he's about the people. Whatever, man. You guys, if you really believe that you're suckers, man, if you believe he's any different from Biden, you're a fool. You're a fool. They don't care about us. They, re they really don't. They don't care about the average man and woman. They care about who's gonna line their pockets and and further their own interest. And it's so sad that people don't see that at this point. It really is, in my opinion, but it is what it is. What's the solution, Joshua? My solution, get it how you get it. <laughs> 
Get it how you can, honestly. You know, I would I would love to say, you know, I want to work with family and all the stuff, man. I've tried that. I've been trying to work with family and get with people and telling people, listen, 10 years ago, I was saying gold and silver. Years ago, yo, we need to be buy, buy these properties in New York City because they're going to keep going up. Nobody listen to me. Nobody pay attention, you know, and that's fine. I believe at this point for me, I got to kind of find people on my way to where I'm trying to be. But overall, my strategy is earn as much money as I can, and save and invest as much as I can, spend as little as I possibly can, unless it's a, nece a, necess a necessary purchase. Keep learning, keep developing, keep growing. That that's that's my solution. And keep the most high first. I believe that Bitcoin and crypto is the future. And if you're not putting in some money for that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I believe we need to look at gold and silver and all these other assets. We need to, you know, I just, listen, man. And it's funny, yo, even in my own neighborhood, I see even more diversity now than I've ever, and don't get me wrong, Uptown has always been like Caribbean kind of, and then over the years we've had Latinos move in, but now definitely you can see more African immigrants, more Mexican immigrants, and like the game is just what the game is, you know, I, I'm not going to complain about it, I'm not going to sit here and get riled up and want to protest, I'm just like, how can I get, get a piece of my own? How can I get a piece of my own? You know, I have no no uh, desire to purchase in property in um, in New York City, in a city where they tell you that these guys are idiots, man. In a city where they tell you that, <laughs> yo, in a city where they tell you that you can't uh, necessarily kick your tenant out, they don't pay rent. I do believe it's important to try to buy at least one house. At least one. Especially for me and my family and my mother and my father, because I'm like, yo, at the, at the end of the day, they don't own property. So I got to think long term for them. And I'm like, I'm looking at Philly. You know, buying a house out in Philly, particularly Cobbs Creek. Because I, I watched this video. Years ago, I watched this video of this, this young black dude who ended up buying rental property out in, in Philly from the Bronx and became a millionaire. So I'm looking at Cobbs Creek out in Philly and I'm seeing $200,000 houses, which is excellent pricing. I mean, 10% of 200,000 is 20,000. That's, that's two houses I can sell, you know? So I, that's what I'm looking at. And I'm just thinking about, I know Philly is a, is a crazy ass city. I don't believe the crime, like I do, and this is the next, this is the next video. I believe that all real estate, all black real estate in these urban cities is, is, is up for grabs. Like they want black people out of these urban cities. Of course, there's no real confirmation fully yet, but just the tonality of things and how things are going. This is all, when you think about it, this is all valuable real estate. I'll save it for the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Later.